Today's lecture is on the Phi Pi relationship. This is something that I've discovered about 20 years ago. So I'd like to discourse and establish that this is the world's first geometric proof to show that Pi, the relationship of the circle to its diameter, 3.141, is based on Phi, which is 1.618, and that the correctional code when we adjust traditional pi, the deficient, the pi that is deficient by 0 0.003, we're going to establish that the true value of pi is based on 3.144. And this goes on and on. Instead of, whereas the traditional pi is based on 3.141. So there's an error in the third decimal from 001, which is 1 in 1,000, to the 4 here. So there's 003, which is 3 in the thousandth of an error. So when we establish that pi is based on phi, uh, we, we will we will realize that we've been in error for two and a half thousand years since Archimedes showed an approximation to it. So we start off with um, a circle here. So we draw the circle. The unit, we'll call it the units. Uh, the un it's not the unit circle because its diameter isn't one. I'm going to put in the diameter here, and we know that there's the center, right? We're going to draw a unit square. So when I say unit square, we mean that the, 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 the length of that square is one unit by one. So that's a unit square, but the diameter of the circle is not one. It's actually called root five. And to show this five pi relationship or connection, the secret is by setting our diameter to root 5. So we're going to have to know what is root 5, right? Um, the first thing we know is that when we draw the square, the unit square in the semicircle, we put, there's our center, and if I put a, a, a radius there, or the diagonal of half the square, as we bring it down, as, as we bring it down, um, we establish some more codes. So what we're going to establish is that phi, this, the definition of phi is 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2. Okay, so I'm going to come to what root 5 is. So I'm going to draw what we call a double square. And according to Pythagoras' theorem, this long diagonal that goes through the center, this distance here, based on 1 to 1 and 1 is 2. This distance here is called root 5. So root 5 is roughly equals 2.236. And half of that is 1.118. And that's a critical harmonic because um, if this is root 5, this is also root 5 here. I'll do it in another color. Root 5, because it's the diameter, is going right through from that point to that point. So if this is 1, if this is 1, the distance from the square to the curvature is called 0.118. I'll go over that. So that distance here is called 0.118. And when we double, so 0 0.118 and 0 0.118 is 0 0.236 plus the 1 and the 1 is 2. So this distance is root 5, 2.236. So we need to know this to get the, the definition of the golden ratio, 1.618. So when we go 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 equals 1.618. That's the phi, the number for phi, the golden ratio. So, so, so we've set up um, a basic structure. It's like a skeletal structure to connect phi and pi. Okay, so um, I, we can also... Um, uh, okay, so what we need to do is we're going to look at the formula for the golden ratio, 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. For those that don't know what the golden ratio is, the, the male symbol for it is the pentacle. And when you draw the star within the star, it reduces at the rate of 0.618. So whatever the golden ratio is, it's basically embedded in the human canon. So if this distance is 1 here, the short length of the arm is 0.618, so the whole length is 1.618. So that's one of our best definitions. And this is all based on the Fibonacci sequence, where our joints bend 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. So 
that's another whole subject, but we need to know what root 5 is. So now that we have the formula 1 plus root 5 for 2, to get the 5 pi relationship, I'm going to show, I'm going to translate this ancient formula, which is the key to the harmonics of the universe, into a graphic. So we, here we know what that root 5 is, that distance, and we need to know what 1 is. So we know that 1, so I'm going to rub that, put that in pink here, and we know that this distance of the unit square is 1, so I can just add that again here. So this is 1. This is root 5, but the formula for the golden ratio says what is 1 plus root 5 divided by 2? So we know that that's 1, that's root 5, but we've got to find the midpoint. So now we've got to find the midpoint of that. Um, um, let's have a look. So, okay, so before, before we do the midpoint, I, I need to draw this double square again so i'm going to do it here's another unit square there and there's another unit square there so we, we can have many actually there's an infinite amount of double squares so what i wanted to show you now i'm going to put this in uh blue we'll do this in blue this is the unit square in the middle as well this this is the key here so we've got the the unit square in the middle surrounded by double squares all around it. What, what we're going to realize is that when I take the midpoint of 1 plus the root 5 and I take the midpoint, when I divide it by 2, I'm going to put a dot there. Um, and it also works out that if this was 1 here, 1 divided plus the root 5 divided by 2 happens to be this point. So we know that the four crosses of that internal unit square is the phi ratio expressed as a geometry. But we want to know all these other points. So any, any way we turn this around, we get, if I went one plus root five divided by two, I end up with these points in. If I keep doing it, I'm just gonna put these dots. I'm just gonna show you that the more we plot one plus root five divided by two, what we actually get is the circle inside the unit square. And this is critical because this is pi. We've just established that phi, P-H-I, one plus root five divided by two, when it's plotted into a circle with diameter of root five, pr produces the circle in the square. And that's the very definition of pi. And, it just, and that, this means that pi is divided by phi. So we could express it. So if I was to connect all these points from the center, if I now connect that all these points, the corners of the square, what we're really looking at, if you were to examine this, you're getting something that's known as like a Maltese cross. It's not actually the Maltese cross. It's called the Jane Pi cross. It's actually, I believe that this is what we call a navigational device. This is the... What, something like Osiris's wand or Horus's wand and how they navigated the celestial. And here's, here is another version of it. So this is another version. This is a decal that you peel off and put on glass. And you can see that I've got 3.144, but as it gets to the 15th decimal, that 3.144 repeats again. See how on the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th decimal, 3.144 is, is exactly how it started, 3.144. And 144 is actually got to do with the harmonic of light. So this, this contains all the sacred ratios. So I've given this a name in my book. In my first book, it was called The Book of Phi, Volume 8. I showed there was an archer here ready to release 3.144. And that Jane Pi is 4 divided by the root of 5, which is the height of the pyramid gives 3.144 and it also comes in a second book this was based on my powerpoint that the true value of pi is 4 divided by the square root of phi square root of phi phi is 1.272 so this is how we achieve 3.144 so i'm really honored to release this fairy wand method it's a navigational device like a tuned instrument of the highest order